uh, Extreme has a, um, a long list of courses that we can provide uh, between Brian, my colleague, and longtime mentor, and myself. We have the ability to teach um, the standard chord classes or the alphabet soup classes that are uh, credentialed through a body like the American Heart Association. Uh, and then we have some others that are other other edu educational credentialing bodies. Uh, our courses for medicine-based courses um, that are pre-hospital-based medicine, uh, like our in-house course, ARIM, um, is credentialed. Brian Dunn, he did a, a fantastic job of collaborating with an accrediting body which accredits EMS education. So they're all accredited. That's paramount. And it's huge that our courses are set apart by having that particular credential. Um, so the main class that we teach, ARIM, or uh, Advanced Remote uh, Medical Management, is geared for paramedics who are certified or licensed and it allows them with an information sharing in expanded scope of practice. And then we teach other classes like RIM, which is not the advanced, but it's just the remote medical management, which is for first responder type, which is now called EMR, uh, emergency medical responder uh, level individuals. So it gives it, but it also gives them expanded scope in their particular level of credentialing. So they can care for patients that are in ultra remote or remote locations that they wouldn't normally or customarily treat in that manner because of um, the constraints of their um, licensure on land. Um, but they're allowed to practice in that scope because they're in such remote locations.